so now what happens when I need to make a change to SQL Server 2005 or I need to delete SQL Server 2005? Well, in the old days, you would simply take the CD, put it in, and auto-run it, and so forth. Not anymore. We're using the MSI technology to install SQL Server. And notice what we do. We go to Start, Settings, Control Panel. And now from the Control Panel, we're going to go to Add or Remove Programs. So I double-click that. Populates my list of programs. And notice SQL Server 2005 shows up. Notice it shows me my size, but to make a change, I simply click on the Change button and notice what it brings up. It brings up the Microsoft SQL Server 2005 Maintenance dialog box, and this is my component selection. For example, for my SQL Server 2005 instances, I have installed on this box the database engine for a named instance called Mark and the default instance for MS SQL Server. So I'll tell it that I want to make a change to Mark. Now notice that I also see some other common components down here. We won't worry about those right now. Something else that's really cool, I can also get a report of the various things that are installed on this particular SQL Server. Very easy to see what's going on here. Again, Microsoft done a fabulous job of providing you lots of different ways to get at the information that you need to be able to do things. And notice I can copy this, take it out to... Um, some other application, notepad, word, whatever, create reports off of it. So anyway, notice I've told it I want to make some changes to my database engine and it says, okay, which particular one, what component do you want to change? The engine's all that is there on that uh, named instance. And I click that, it will now go out, begin to scan my computer's configuration just like before. And notice it has taken me back to the server installation wizard. So it's going to scan my system, do a system configuration check, SCC, same thing as before. And now it's going to continue with the installation. And notice it's going to run through the same gyrations it did before. Gyrations is a Tennessee technical term, by the way. And notice I can now decide to change installed components. And so I get this screen and I can change what I want. Or I can go back, or I could remove Microsoft SQL Server from this computer. Very easy to make these changes. I'm going to cancel out at this point, and it's going to warn me. And with that, I'm done. But that's how you'll go in and make changes or modifications to an installed SQL Server. It's an absolute piece of cake. Microsoft's done a wonderful job here.